There's a lot of different businesses that invoice their clients monthly, but that fee changes every month. So if you're just invoicing clients the exact same amount every month, just use QuickBooks that's built in or FreshBooks. But for many businesses, you actually have to do a calculation or a check before you create the invoice. So I'm going to show you a very simple AI agent a system that will allow you to grab some data, do some checks, and then what it does is it creates a draft invoice, it doesn't send it to the customer yet, and then it emails the person in your company that should be approving it. And so then they can just click a button, go into QuickBooks or FreshBooks or whatever system you're using, and they can see it. The email will have all the information they'll need to make the decision about whether they should approve this or not. In our demo example today, we've got some data in a Google Sheet. This could be in any kind of format. You could have it in Excel, you could have it in Airtable or, or anything like that. We're doing a very simplified example here, but there's gonna be a date, an invoice amount, and this might have a lot more data that we bring into our invoicing system, but we need to be able to connect to this Google Sheet. The other thing that in our example system we have to deal with is a scanned paper and this scanned paper is a, a letter that has an invoice amount listed in a couple of places and we need to make sure that what we have in this google sheet matches this scanned letter now there are a million different ways that these combinations have to work together for some companies it's doing a calculation and then uh, checking it against some kind of government tax invoice or something like that. For other companies, it's taking several different um, pieces of data from other Google Sheets, perhaps other spreadsheets, and then checking against a main invoice amount. Maybe what it's doing is we're hand calculating the invoice amount to start this process, but then we want to have a check before we create the invoice that this invoice amount roughly matches what we've billed over the last, say, three or four months. We don't want a big aberration there. Whatever you're currently doing, don't change that. Let's just figure out how to automate it. So that's what we're going to do for our checks today. What we will do here in make.com, we're going to create a connection to that Google Sheet that we had here that was called invoice amount. And all we're doing there is we're reaching in and just grabbing all of the data. There would be a little bit more complexity if perhaps you want to run this every every month at a specific day or time. And then you might want to have another field in here that mentions whether this has already been run, something like that. What that's then going to do is push this information over into Google Drive connection. And Again, each of these, I should mention that you'll have to make a connection if you're using make.com or, or any kind of automation platform. This one then goes in and it grabs this invoice letter. So this could be dynamic. Uh, this could come from some other place for the demo. We're going into here and we're grabbing this uh, JPEG file. So it's, it's not super easy to read. It's not something that's already in textual format. So we need to then take that and we need to use, now we're actually using AI. So this is the part that's the AI agent itself that, that's using, that part of the AI agent that's using AI. Now we push that into ChatGPT and we're using the vision functionalities of ChatGPT. So we're saying extract the text from this image and then we're gonna say use this image file from Google Drive. And we're gonna use the GPT-4.0 model there's uh, some models that don't work, so you gotta make sure you use the right one, and they'll give you some documentation on that if you get the wrong one. And then you can, you really don't need advanced. And after you get this, what you're going to do is then take that extracted text, and we're gonna do, this is where the magic comes in, so many of these AI agents, is we use this thing called transform text to structure data. And I'll show you why we're doing this here. We need to decide, is it a match? If it is, then what we want to do, so if it's a match equals true, then we want to create an invoice in QuickBooks, and then we want to send an email. And I'll show that piece here in a minute. If it's a data mismatch, 
So if this comes out at false, then we want to send an email and say, hey, uh, this didn't work. Please go and double check. The way that we do that is in this transform text to structured data. This is a very powerful tool in large language models that allow you to make these kind of programmatic decisions. So we're going to say, uh, using this model, you're going to have an incoming source, which is the date and the invoice amount. So those, if you'll see here, that's uh, flashing over here. That's coming from the Google Sheet. And then our verification source down here, you see that one flashing here on the left? That is coming from what we extracted from that image. Here's the prompt. Given the incoming source and the verification source, determine if the incoming source is a match. Then we have to create a structured data definition. So we created a parameter called isMatch, and then we give it a little description that helps make it easier for this model, this large language model, to parse that text out. And then it has to be of type Boolean. This is quite important because that needs to show up in the filter that we use right here. The other thing that I like to do is add a match reasoning. I, I, I want the model to explain why did it choose this? Because if we ever get things wrong in the future, I want to be able to go back to the logs and see what was it about that particular uh, set of data that confused the model so I can fix it. And so then we say brief description of why the data is a match or not. And that's text. We're not actually going to use that in any decisions, but it will go into the logs so we can check it later. And that's it. Now we have the data condensed down into a simple variable that we can route on. If it is a match, we go to QuickBooks and we create an invoice. And you'll have to create a QuickBooks connection here. And we simply give it the invoice amount that came out of Google Sheets. And then you can add whatever you need to here. I've got the date. There's lots of other things you can add in. And then the final piece here is we're going to send an email. And so it has a subject, the review for the customer name. It's all HTML, which you can just go into ChatGPT and say, give me a nicely formatted HTML email that has this template. And this one is hard coded to the, the decision maker, me in this case. And we just tell some information about it and then give a button. So let's hit run and see what happens. We see that the Google Sheet ran. We found the file. We pulled everything down with the AI. We made a decision. You see that none went through data mismatch. So it did match. We went into QuickBooks. We generated an invoice. And then we sent the email. So let's check in QuickBooks really quick to see if we see that new invoice. And then we'll also check the email and make sure that looks good. Here is QuickBooks invoices. And we can see that we did just generate a Duke's basketball camp invoice for $12,000, which is the exact same amount that we wanted over here. So that's great. Now let's check the email. We'll click into this. And we've got this nicely formatted email. It's got a button that would take you to this exact invoice in QuickBooks. You could do this with FreshBooks or other accounting software as well. And then it lists the customer, the amount that we're billing, and then it even adds an attachment of the original confirmation letter. If this is helpful so far, would you click like on this video? That'll help me a lot to get more reach out and be able to help more people with AI automations. Now, if you're really finding it helpful and you'd like to see more of these videos as they come out, would you click subscribe? That will help me a lot to get more content to you and to help you start building amazing AI agents and automations. Let's do one other thing to trigger this going down the wrong path. So if we go in here, let's say we change this invoice amount to 11,500. So this no longer matches this JPEG image here. And so we'll see if we can get this now to send me an email that says, hey, we've got a problem. It went down the data mismatch route. And so if you come over here, this is where match reasoning becomes very useful. So it says the incoming source lists the invoice amount is 11,500, whereas verification confirms is 12,000. The discrepancy of 500 means the incoming source does not match the verification. 
So that is exactly what we want to catch. So you'll notice in this case, we did not generate a new invoice. We didn't send any kind of approval email. Instead, we sent an email that says, hey, please come in and check. Let's take a look at that email. So it says monthly invoice not ready. And maybe I should have made that red or something like that. But it says we're not able to validate the invoice data we have in place. And here's an explanation. And so then you as the approver can go in here and you can go, oh yeah, it, it does say 12,000 and our data says 11,500. And so then I can reach out, I can get things fixed and then we can rerun this automation so that we get the invoice created and that's it. So when you're doing monthly invoicing, remember that the right side of this is pretty much set. You're going to want to send an email. You're going to want to generate an invoice. Again, I use QuickBooks here as an example. You could use FreshBooks or other accounting software. And then you want to have this data match versus data mismatch. You never want to create an invoice if you know the data is not good. And so you would want to send a notification email to the person responsible to go fix it. The other thing that's important is when you're dealing with clients, especially if you're a small business, you can't afford to make a mistake. You imagine the client trust that gets eroded if you send a bad invoice that was clearly done by AI and it would just look sloppy, not okay. So this is why we generate invoices using an AI agent, but we typically don't send them. Now, if you're dealing with maybe hundreds of thousands of customers, you have to automate it. But if you're a small business and you have that personal touch, you don't want to send this invoice as part of this AI agent. Instead, you want to create a check. And so the easiest way is often to send yourself an email or whoever the approver is, and you just make that check as easy as possible. You give them all the information in the email and they can just go, yep, that looks good. Maybe they click a button and it could kick off sending of the invoice, or maybe they go into QuickBooks from the button and click send invoice. The left side of this AI agent, however, is very dependent on your business processes. So I tried to demonstrate a kind of weird scenario that has to use image processing. Maybe yours is not going to be so complex. You're more likely taking in a PDF. You can just directly extract the text from that. But anyways, the key is the AI piece here that does some of that judgment call. The way that you'll usually find this working is you'll do some kind of AI at the beginning that does some thinking or reasoning that checks if two things are a match or maybe it checks some data that you've entered against past historical data. And then you're going to have another piece of AI that then takes the result of that first one and transforms it into structured data so it can be passed into this last piece of logic.